Hey, what's up? My name's Chase, and today I'm going to show you how to incorporate a texture over an image in InDesign. Um, so I already have my image open here, and what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to place an, an image on top of that. Um, I found an image that's got a crazy texture of um, metal, uh, I think it's like a grate or something, and I'm basically just going to overlay that on top of my image and then play with the opacity to get an effect that you know, shows both images over you know, one image. So I already have my image open, that's going to be our base, and then in InDesign I'm going to click on File, Place, or Command D, and then I'm going to navigate through the menus to figure out um, where my, you know, my picture is that I wanted to add, um, whatever texture it is. So I go to my textures, and I, oh, it's Metal Mesh, and then I'm just going to place that. You'll see that it's pretty big. And then I'm just going to size that to be about the size of my picture, you can see here. So by holding the Option and Shift button, I can scale this down. And now I'm just going to adjust the size so it's the same size as the frame of my image. I'm going to change the display performance to high quality just so you guys can get a better look at this. Zoom in. So but now, basically, we've got one image on top of another. And the way I'm going to make this kind of texturalized is by I can either change the opacity. As you can see, it goes down. Or I could change the effects. Just kind of go through these. There's multiply, screen, overlay, all these different things. And you can still change the opacity also to, so that the um, the harshness of that effect isn't as um, prominent. So you know, you can go down further and further. And so there you go. I mean, it's pretty easy. It's not um, that difficult to do. You should really be doing any of these effects in Photoshop and then incorporating them into your InDesign document. Um, InDesign is kind of a layout program, not really so much for photo editing. But you can still do very um, simple things like this. Um, so that's just about it. My name's Chase, and today I showed you how to incorporate a texture in InDesign. Thanks for watching.